Hi, Coin6 Meteorologist Josh Kozart here with your latest weather forecast. We have a lot to really kind of break down as the wildfire smoke here across the Pacific Northwest continues to decrease our air quality. Of course, this comes as multiple fires just continue to scorch much of the landscape here across the Pacific Northwest. So uh, go ahead, get your questions ready to go. We're live on Facebook. We're live on TikTok, uh, all of the different avenues here, and also over at coin.com where you can get the latest weather forecast over there as well. And of course, we'll be having the latest updates on all of today's top headlines and also the wildfire smoke that continues to decrease our air quality here live on Coin6 News in Portland on channel six starting at four o'clock so let's go ahead and really kind of break down exactly what we are seeing here across our area a coin six weather alert in place today that's due to the decreased air quality in addition to the excessive heat that's building across our region as well so all of this kind of combining to make the perfect storm but there are improvements. We just got to pack our patience and wait just a few more days to be able to see some of those uh, better conditions, both with the heat and those hazy skies. On the plus side though, the smoky conditions do make for some great sunrises and sunsets. These are just a few of the views that we've seen over the past 24 hours or so. Brilliant purples and reds and oranges really encompassing much of our landscape here across the I-5 corridor. Yes, we much rather have the clear air and also the lack of wildfires burning across our area because unfortunately we are in no short supply. It just continues to really kind of pollute our skies and unfortunately burn our beautiful green state here in the state of Oregon and also over parts of the Cascades of Washington. So this is really a big widespread event and you can see with the image below me here that's a live look out across the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to the Hotel Undergo Kirkland Tower camera where the hazy conditions are still remaining and will likely continue to do so. So let's go ahead and uh, give us a look at what's in store for this evening. As the smoke and haze sticks around, that's where the wildfire smoke will really create a, yet again another red sunset. So get those cameras at the ready, snap your photos, head to coin.com. That way you can share all of those great images that you capture with us and maybe have a chance to see them on air along with those sunrises that are in store for us tomorrow. Now, Portland's air quality right now, this is a live look. You can see just how hazy it is across our area, falling back to the moderate category at a count of about 58 or so. Once we get to 100, which we've slowly been climbing through the early morning hours, through the early afternoon hours to get to this point, and that's going to only continue to worsen the air quality really as we move through about the next 24 hours. The peak or the worst part of it is going to be when the heat comes in because then you start to get that greenhouse effects. So the ozone all gets mixed in with the smoke and haze and that just really degrades our air quality. So having the potential to fall back to the unhealthy category isn't out of the realm of possibility. You can see through the I-5 corridor, many of our locations back to the moderate level right now. And that's just going to be the case through the rest of this afternoon into the evening time frame. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure that you are uh, asking those away, and I will try to get them answered uh, as quickly as I possibly can. I'm just going to kind of funnel over to Facebook here uh, just to get those folks in the loop as well. Uh, just kind of seeing all the folks who are streaming in on TikTok as well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, again, the air quality continues to decrease here across the Pacific Northwest in Portland in particular. Uh, if you are just now uh, joining us, it looks like Lynn over on Facebook uh, already bothering my breathing. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the case for many of us, and we can actually smell a lot of that wildfire smoke in parts of the Portland-Vancouver metro area. I know when I was walking into work this morning, I stepped out. That was the first thing that I sensed was, was the smell of smoke, and of course, it, visually, that was able to be seen as well looks like we got a few more people trickling in on uh tiktok live as well so thank you for joining us there i uh, just want to kind of give you a, a bigger broader view of the entirety of the state of oregon parts of southern washington as well falling back to those moderate air quality out towards the dallas closer to the unhealthy for sensitive groups what does all of this actually mean though it basically means that you need to limit your time spent outside i know it's hot out there i know we want to crack open our windows let some fresh air in especially this evening, that less than ideal because this air quality is nothing to mess around with. Some of the worst air quality that we've seen so far this year here in at least the Portland-Vancouver metro area. All of this has kind of been floating around the center sections of the state over the past little while, but uh, 
really kind of seeing a lot of that uh, wildfire smoke push its way back into the I-5 corridor. Oh, hey, Lily. Uh, thanks for joining on TikTok. Miss you guys out there. Um, again, feel free to ask or any of your questions, comments, or concerns, and we'll be answering them live right here on Facebook, coin.com, on TikTok, all of the different avenues. We'll try to get those questions answered for you. And also, say hello. I always appreciate that as well. Um, looks like I uh, got no new comments just yet on the Facebook post. Um, but really, this is going to be impactful to those who maybe have an outdoor run planned later today. That That's going to be the biggest cause for concern. You can really kind of see here with our air quality forecast that parts of the Portland-Vancouver metro area, uh, Multnomah County as well, falling back to the unhealthy for sensitive groups category, uh, potentially even the unhealthy category. Now, some of this wildfire smoke has actually started from a fire that was burning out towards uh the Mount Adams area in southwest Washington. This was started by a lightning fire, and I'm just thinking off the top of my head, I think it's the the Mills fire. Um, it's just to the west and southwest of Mount Adams. It was started by lightning a couple of days ago. We managed to get in some incredible viewer photos of that as well. Just truly uh, crazy stuff. And it looks like uh, Lady Horizon here on TikTok says, uh, southwest Washington here definitely noticing the icky air. Yeah, it, it's everywhere. And I would even think probably in parts of Southwest Washington, we're talking about Vancouver up to battleground, really kind of smelling the brunt of this wildfire smoke as it kind of moves from the north to the south, trickling down uh, into our area. So yeah, not not a great day to be spending time outside. And it almost looks a little ominous out there as well. You can see the image below me here. That's the Vancouver waterfront uh, Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera. With that view, you if you look far to the right side of the bridge, that's where downtown Portland is. We got a few clouds building, but also some of that is uh, mixed in with wildfire smoke. But it just kind of gives us that eerie kind of filtered daylight across the area as well. But I want to point out again uh, on this in particular map that the Portland-Vancouver area, falling back to the unhealthy for sensitive groups, the unhealthy category. We also got a few spots uh, really over kind of the central and northern Cascades of Oregon as well. That's where fires have been burning. Again, a lot of this due to lightning, so not much we can do there. Uh, we just need to make sure that we are using our precautions to make sure that we don't see any new wildfires start and spread, especially as the hot and hazy conditions uh, continue to kind of find their way back into our area. So the forecast for the rest of the day today here in the Rose City, it's going to just stay hazy. That That's just plain and simple. Falling back to that unhealthy for uh, sensitive groups for some folks but just a few of our uh, weather headlines is the air quality it does remain on the poorer side of things for us unfortunately and uh, we do on a bright note see our temperatures slowly start to cool as we work our way into the week's end eventually into the weekend the weekend definitely going to be a lot nicer also a lot clearer with the air quality as well so something for us to look forward to uh, for sure let me just kind of jump over here to our our next section where we we can see the wildfire smoke unfortunately from space as my computer loads here but really it, it's not just oregon it's washington as well as those fires just continue to scorch our landscape it's now closing in uh, i think nine days without any measurable rainfall here in the city and that's considerable of, of no because prior to that it was the end of july we picked up about seven one hundredths of an inch here in the city not much to write home about, unfortunately, but that was our first measurable rainfall in 28, I think, days. So it's been a very hot, it's been a very dry summer for us here across the Pacific Northwest. And we desperately need to see the return of those rains, but that doesn't become more frequent, more widespread until the Pacific Northwest rainy season really starts to get underway uh, once again. And, and that doesn't usually get started until the end of September, the beginning of October. So we still have all of the month of August, all of the month of September before we really start to see that wildfire concern diminish. Seems like every year they just get a little bit earlier. Uh, direct cause to climate change, warmer temperatures, drier weather patterns. If you've lived here in the Pacific Northwest for any amount of time, especially over the past 10 to 15, if not even 20 years, you've noticed those changes, especially 
when it comes to the wildfires. So uh, it takes all of us to kind of prevent the spread and start of brand new fires. Of course, we can't control Mother Nature with lightning strikes, but we can try to uh, be cautious, not running those lawnmowers, making sure that chains aren't dragging on the back of your vehicle, not throwing out your cigarettes outside of windows while you're driving by. All of those things are things that we can do right now to decrease that wildfire threat because that threat increases again tomorrow with a chance for maybe a few isolated thunderstorms over the Cascades as well. Another snapshot if you're just now joining us here on this uh, live coin now, and that's where we are seeing the moderate air quality once again return to much of our area. It's still good out towards the coastline. We'll take a look at Seaside here in a moment where uh, a bit of a different picture. But we are holding on to that poor air quality advisory. It remains in effect for much of the northern Willamette Valley. That does include the Portland-Vancouver metro area. And that's where just fires continue to burn in southwest Washington, filling up our skies here across the region. So limit your time spent outside. But I, I want to give us a, a bit of a, a breakdown, a timeline of where all of this wildfire smoke is expected to move. And uh, as you kind of take a look at it in motion, you'll notice that we see those clearing conditions by the time we work our way into not only late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Still stays hazy on Friday, but definitely seen some uh, a better better information there. I'm going to go ahead and take this full while I read some of your uh, comments and questions. Uh, Andrew commenting here on Facebook, the smoky area isn't great to breathe, uh, but don't forget the fire ecology is a natural part of our region that yeah, so it, it, fires are definitely a, a normalcy for us, but the rate that we are seeing these fires, the widespread amount, that is what's unusual and what we don't want to see. Yes, lightning strikes start and spread fires all the time. That's just part of Mother Nature's par for the course. It, it's healthy for a lot of forests as well. That starts and refreshes them and everything, but the amount and how widespread it is is what is a direct link to uh, the issue that that we don't necessarily want to see and then we also want to make sure that we are kind of reeling back our human aspect in the form of not starting spreading new fires with things like fireworks although folks have been so great this year i think everybody's really starting to kind of understand that that is a cause for concern so that is is definitely a positive for us on that note but uh, again as far as the wildfire smoke timeline goes seeing some improvements late tonight early into tomorrow it's still going to be hazy for our Friday, especially if you're in places like Clark County uh, in southwest Washington. You're going to see the biggest impacts from that fire burning just to the west of the Mount Adams area, again, started by lightning. So if you have any plans or maybe spending some time outside today, eh, maybe reschedule, especially if you are a sensitive group or maybe even a healthy adult and kiddos you want to make sure that everyone's staying inside especially as we expect to see a lot of our air quality fall back to that unhealthy for sensitive groups which does include everybody even if you are a healthy adult less than ideal to be breathing in those smoke particulates it's not good all around it just potentially posing a bit more of a severe risk or adverse reaction if you are in that sensitive group category uh, so maybe just sit inside <laughs> and enjoy the ac if you're lucky enough to have that and again tonight if you don't have ac maybe not one of those nights to crack open the window uh to let the smoky air in now as far as the smell of smoke goes today definitely smelling it across some of our areas again it, as i was walking into work i walk about four blocks or so the entirety of the walk in downtown portland i had the chance to smell the smoke and i'm sure it's even worse out towards clark county and, and much of uh southwest washington as you're closest to some of the uh, smoke producing fires out towards Mount Adams as well. You can see again those smoky conditions just to the bottom of your screen. I'll go ahead and change up our camera uh, just so you can kind of see what it looks like in downtown Portland. Yeah, smoky and very hazy out there for us. Uh, a live look out along the Vancouver area where our current temperature is at 87 degrees now out at PDX. So, it's on the warm side for us. It's hazy out there. Temperatures expected to climb back up into the mid-90s by the time we get to the afternoon. Now, you may have been saying, hey, Josh, I watched your forecast yesterday, and you guys were saying it was probably going to be closer to like 97, 98 degrees. Yes, that was the original forecast. But when you see all of these densely packed particulates from the wildfire smoke, that decreases your temperature because as the sun rays come in, 
it's reflected back out into the atmosphere from all of the wildfire smoke particulates. And that means we're not absorbing as much heat. So if you're going to look at any positives, look at it as that. At least it's a few degrees cooler today than what it could have potentially been even uh, just 24 hours prior before those smoke models really kind of came into play. So still mid-90s, very hot for us. We should be right around 83 degrees for this time of year. So it is toasty out there and uh, we'll continue to do so even into Friday for us. Just checking to see if there's any more questions, comments, concerns here on our uh, Facebook page. And of course, feel free to ask those on TikTok as well. And uh, you can always rewatch this on coin.com or head over to our YouTube channel. All great avenues to get the latest information. I got a few of the headlines also uh, that are on our website, coin.com. That's K-O-I-N.com if you're unfamiliar and just joining us. Uh, these are some of the top headlines here for the Portland, Vancouver metro area. You can read up more on those. Uh, always a, a lot of news and politics happening. We just had election day in Washington back on Tuesday. So still seeing all those results funneling in. You can find all of that information again, coin.com or live on Coin News, starting at four o'clock with Jenny Hansen and Todd Unger. And of course myself giving the weather forecast. So as far as the smoke and haze goes, it's staying with us. Our forecasted highs today up and down the I-5 quarter, back up into the 90s for many of us. 60s though, found along the coast as the triple digits find their way back into places east of the Columbia River Gorge. We're talking about the Dow's potentially out 101 degrees once again. Seaside, a much different picture. You might be saying, hey, this kind of looks like wildfire smoke. It's not. It's actually the marine layer, although we are picking up on a bit of that smoke kind of uh, propagating itself closer to the shoreline. So definitely seeing some hazy conditions, but hey, our temperature is still at about 67 degrees. And don't forget the big volleyball tournament that's happening over the next several days out towards Seaside as well. So a great time to be had out that direction. Still wear the sunscreen even with the marine layer because it can break at any moment, especially as we work our way into kind of the warmer part of the day, the afternoon hours. Some of that will start to clear out. But we're talking at least through the rest of this week into the weekend, those temperatures getting back up into the 60s across our area. Not to say the same, though, for us here across the Portland area. That's where we're climbing back up to about 93 degrees. That's 10 degrees above what is average for this eighth day in the month. We're already a week deep into the month of August. So these temperatures are going to be on the toasty side for us until we get to the weekend. 83 degrees, that's the Goldilocks zone where we should be for this time of year. And also expecting to see those temperatures slide back to the upper 70s. It's been a while since we felt that, so that will also be a nice change of pace for us before we gradually warm things back up to about 80 degrees one week from today. So still feeling like the summer season here across the Pacific Northwest. And part of that cooling trend is all due to the movement of the upper layers of the atmosphere. So high pressure situated over the desert southwest right now, helping to funnel some of that heat back into our area, along with the hazy conditions due to high pressure that's just offshore. That's kind of wrapping all of that smoke back around into our region from the north to the south, especially a lot of those fires burning in the northern Cascades. Uh, so definitely going to be seeing those kind of parting ways and that's the good news. That's going to really kind of bring our temperatures down, clear out our skies as a nice onshore flow starts to work its way back into our area. A, a very shallow dip in the jet stream, but a dip nonetheless to once again uh, usher in those cooler conditions. Something to look forward to by the time we get to next week. So today we haven't hit our peak temperature just yet. 93 degrees, they expected high. It will be hot. It will be hazy with winds out the north northwest at about 5 to 10. Tonight, falling only into the low to mid 60s at best. It's still going to be mild out there. Unfortunately, cracking open your windows, doors to let in some fresh air is only going to let in more of that wildfire smoke, unfortunately. Our seven-day forecast, we'll go ahead and take this full for you so you can get it in its entirety. That's where we still hold on to that coin six weather alert for today. 93 degrees, our expected high, only falling to the mid-60s by sunrise tomorrow. Tomorrow, it will still be hot. It will still be hazy, but 91, um, maybe a little bit more manageable than, than the 93 for today, and the haze not as oppressive as what it is today. So the smell of smoke still likely in places like Clark County, the Vancouver uh, metro area, uh, but Portland itself may be starting to see some of that improvement. This weekend, cooling dramatically from the upper 80s Saturday to the low 80s on Sunday. Monday, hey, get this, maybe a raindrop or two. 
we could potentially see one one hundredth of an inch of rain. Wouldn't that be something? That would put an end to the multi-day stretch of eight and then on top of that days uh, of rain-free skies. So almost 10 days without seeing measurable rainfall. That that would be a welcome sight if that came to fruition on Monday. Keep in mind, still a few days out, subject to change. But the cloud coverage is definitely going to be uh, impacting us as well. Now, as far as those 70s go, that's the sweet spot Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We start to see some of those clouds break apart ever so slightly as well. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind as we move forward in the next week. But overall, the heat, the haze, it is still here across the Pacific Northwest. I think that's probably going to do it for us here for this Coin Now Live edition. Of course, you can rewatch this. Uh, ask any questions that you may have as the summer heat only continues to build across our region. Again, stay safe, stay indoors, and stay cool as the Pacific Northwest summer continues on.